Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another video. So we're doing a bit of hobbying today, we're going to be doing a bit of kit bashing and what we're going to try and do is make a Spacel's Primaris Iron Priest out of this existing kit, so the Iron Father Ferros from the Iron Hands and the Firstborn Spacewolves Iron Priest. Now, while this is a, still a fairly recent miniature, it is a Firstborn Marine, so unfortunately now it's quite small next to the current Primaris range. So what I want to try and do is utilize this frost pistol and maybe the upper torso sections, definitely the head and this um, wolf detail on the groin there, and also this backpack arm as well. I want to try and do is merge the upper body to the legs of Ferros. We'll get rid of this groin section if we can and use the wolf one. Uh, we'll get the head in there, hopefully try and use the Space Wolves chest rather than this one. And then what I want to do is try and get that wolf um, servo arm on the backpack. Maybe we'll get rid of the um, Lucky Crane grab arm and we might try and keep that. Or maybe we'll put a searchlight on there. But what I'm trying to do in this video is sort of merge the two kits together and see if we can come up with a Gravis, uh, Gravis Armoured Space Wolves Iron Priest. So let's get them unboxed, we'll have a look at the sprues and see what we can put together. Okay, so we've got the kits out of the box. I don't really have a plan per se, but what I definitely want to do is use the legs um, and the, if I can, upper torso at the back there, Ferros. So I'm going to build up to here, and then when it comes to putting this torso section on at the front, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop, and what I'm going to try and do is use this torso section here on the Iron Priest, and see if I can merge that to the uh, the back of the torso on Ferros, and then that way we can use the head of the Iron Priest, because he has got some um, wires that connect to his helmet and that they join onto the chest just there on the neck you can see but worst comes to worst we can always snip those wires off somehow or maybe we'll just use some guitar string and uh, try and do it that way but I'll, I will try and use the torso first so what I'm going to do is I'll pause the video and I'll get these legs built up and I'll see where we're at in terms of sticking the bits together okay so we appear to have come across our first snag so we've got here the torso section for the Iron Priest and here we've got the torso section rear for Ferros. So when we try and join the two together, it's nice that these pipes line up, but obviously there's a lot of difference there in terms of the arms. Now I could maybe cut away this section of plastic here around the actual main circle for the arm and try and get that side to fit. And it might do, but on this side, we've got a problem because he's part of his arm is attached to that. And again, I'd have to cut away all here and then maybe try and just sort of you know maybe meld them together somehow I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that so what I might have to do is cut around that belt section there and then try and fit that on instead and then maybe use these pipes so I'm going to do a little bit of fiddling around and then uh, we'll come back to the video and see what we've managed to come up with so what I'm doing now is I'm slowly carving away the upper section of the Iron Priest torso Sorry, just bring that into focus so I can get to the uh, the belt section and the pipes there. So I'm going to have to try and trim it down and make it fit the front torso of Ferros. So, uh, yep, we're still working on it. We're still trying to get it to get something we can join together. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so as you can probably tell from the plastic all over the desk, I've actually done some cutting and uh, some plastic carving. I've got the torso section here for Ferros. I've got his belt section there, but I've took away the front armour and the purity seals, I've got rid of them, chopped them off because they're in the way and instead I'm going to try and use this um, wolf section here which I've carved down uh, to try and make a midsection, I've got rid of the torso and the piping but this totem on the left hand side this wolf totem here that's sticking out a bit too much and I think that's going to cause us some issues when we're connecting to the thighs on here, it's kind of catching there so what I want to do is get this torso glued on So that all fits nice. So putting it together while I'm looking at the camera. That fits nice. I've got the belt there. And then we're going to try and put that wolf section in the middle. So what I might have to do is trim the uh, wolf totem off just to get it to fit. But um, we'll see if we can get it all joined up, and then we'll use some some other wolfy bit, some other wolfy bits here, and maybe some um, some cabling just to run from that piece there around the back of his waist into the backpack or something like that to hide any joints. But I didn't want to lose this bit. I wanted to keep this so. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I've done a bit of plastic carving there. It's not the neatest, but it should be okay once it's tucked underneath. And uh, we'll, we'll see you in a second. So as you can see, we've actually uh, made a little bit of progress. So I've skipped ahead a little bit. Um, I managed to get the wolf section on at the center there on the abdomen. What I had to do was heat it a little bit just to bend it to fit under this armor plate here. I did have to cut that wolf totem away, but I'm gonna cover it up 
maybe with another totem from the Space Wolf's kit or a wolf tail or something like that. And again, I might just fill that gap as well with something um, suitably wolfy from the wolf kit. For the servo arm itself, what I did was I chopped off the crane just below, um, sorry, just above the, the, the join and that motor. And then I've used a bridge section and then used the head uh, of the servo arm from the Iron Priest. And that bridge section is actually a Horus Heresy melter gun. Um, and I've managed to use the rod from the wolf head servo arm to connect to the melter gun so it looks like a kind of a piston. And it's gonna allow the head to articulate forward and backwards. And then for this section here where the cable used to extend from the uh, Lucky Crane on the Ferros's servo arm, I might just run a cable from there to there or something like that. And then for the other side, I've managed to mount the Hellfrost pistol actually on the backpack where the heavy bolter would have gone. So I've used a section of the Iron Priest backpack just in the middle there to join onto the uh, bit that connected to the bolter. And I've managed to mount the Hellfrost pistol on a piece of servo arm that was part of the Iron Priest. I'm not too happy with the join there. I might try and just fill that with some green stuff and just neaten it up. But getting it mounted on there and getting the pipe for the heavy bolter to actually join up and connect I'm really pleased with how that's turned out so he's got his servo mounted Hellfrost pistol which is really cool and now that that's done I can concentrate on getting the hammer on there so I am going to use the arm that comes with Theros with the the big axe but instead of using the axe head I'm going to chop it just above that wire so just below this uh, circular section and instead I'm going to put on the head of the hammer that comes with the Iron Priest I don't think I'm going to be able to save that totem because normally he has it at sort of that angle and it dangles down but Ferros is going to be holding it sort of at this angle so that totem might look like it's at an odd angle but maybe we can cut it off and switch it around or maybe have the head that way around uh, so it's dangling down a little bit more we'll have to wait and see but yeah we'll get that um, cut up and glued on in a minute and then also we've got the Iron Priest head which will be going in there it does actually fit nicely in the gap and I also managed to, sorry if I can just bring it into focus on the video cut off the wires that the helmet joins to uh, that, were, that were attached to the Iron Priest torso so I managed to cut them off and shave them down so what I'll do is it's going to be a bit fiddly to do on camera so apologies I will glue this together um, sorry I'm looking at the camera while I'm trying to do it so they, they sit flush and it will sit actually inside the torso of Ferros and it doesn't look like the uh, the end if you know what I mean they actually fit behind his head so it looks like they're connected to the back of the um, the bit where his head goes so that should work out all right and then the last thing to do will be to fit the uh, other servo arm that uh, goes on the lower right of the backpack with this sort of welding tool or plasma cluster or whatever it is will fit that the only problem I'm going to have is this arm here I'm going to have to cover that up uh, get rid of that um, iron hand symbol there the shoulder pad on the left arm is separate so that's fine we're just going to use the space wolf one from the primary upgrade kit it won't have the tooth thing on there the cog tooth but it will have that extra shield piece so yeah so it's going all right so far so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get the um the axe and the hammer converted up and cut up we'll get those glued on and then we'll come back to the video okay so we've got a little bit more progress we've managed to get the uh, hammer head glued onto the axe shaft if you like. I had to lose the token so I've had to file that down. Uh, apologies if you can hear a dog barking in the background by the way. They've just done that government test on uh, mobile phones which scared the bejesus out of me and sounds like some of the neighbours dogs as well. But yeah, axe um, is now converted to the hammer. Pretty happy with that, how that's turned out. I'll figure out how to put a token on there shortly. Um, we have got a load of cables left over with some tokens on and stuff like that so maybe we can try and use those we've got the head ready to go with the um, the cables glued on now so that's ready to go in and then also the right arm I've noticed that um, one of the clan symbols was on there and because the shoulder pad is molded on rather than cut it off and make an absolute mess what I've done is I've managed to just use a scalpel and get rid of the the cogs out of the middle I'll keep that cog there as like a mechanicum cog um, and I'll see if I can glue a skull or something in there just to cover it up and then uh, we'll get the arms on we'll get it all assembled we've got the uh, plasma cutter to go on the rest of the backpack as well and then we'll add some finishing touches as well because what I want to do is cover this um, ammunition pod up where all the bolt shells would have been for the heavy bolter glue something on the end of there maybe some like um, cable fittings or something and I might cover that up 
where the bolt shells are and then try and perhaps run a cable from this bit down to here we'll see how that goes but yeah we're nearly there now so what i'll do is i'll get it all assembled fully and then we'll have a look at the finished article once i've finished uh, you know just adding the final bits and bats so i'll see you in a minute and here we are several hours and one emergency alert later we're finally finished with space wolves primaris iron priest and i've got to say really happy with how this has turned out uh, i know it was a bit of a uh, follow along while i work out what i was doing type of video there wasn't really any structure to it if you like so if you've made it this far then thank you very much uh, i've got a little wolf totem in there that we managed to uh, fill the gap with got the hammer on the top of the axe shaft there so i'm really pleased with that love how the head looks uh, the cables just tucked nicely behind his head and uh, we've got the space wolves chapter symbol on the shoulder pad there fitted a new cable to the hellfrost pistol so i've drilled a hole in the backpack and i fitted a white metal cable there glued it to the bottom so i'm going to cover these bolt shells up um, put something over the top i just haven't found a piece suitable yet but i want this to be like a power pack or a feed for the hellfrost pistol and that's just an auxiliary power cable we've got the uh, arm with the plasma cutter there or the welding torch whatever you want to call it for the clan symbol there i've scraped off the cogs and i'm just going to fit a, a little skull in there if i can or if not i'll just put a little space wolves transfer in there or something like that but overall very very pleased how this has turned out just some mold lines to clean up and then we can get it painted uh, i'm looking forward to getting this painted as well because this one has been a bit of a labor of love uh, if there's more if you want to see more hobby on the channel then please let me know i know as i said this wasn't really a structured video but i'm going to be doing more space wolves i'm going to be doing a space wolves army 410th edition got a few different projects on the go i'm um, just converting ragnar at the minute i've just done a bolt pistol conversion for him his head's not glued on there so i'm just being careful but if you follow me on instagram or twitter you might have seen that conversion already so i've got that one on the way and then i'm also just finishing off a miniature that i've had half painted for absolutely ages ulrich the slayer so I put him on a new base, I've done a cork base with some Valhalla and Blizzard and it's just painted and dry brushed, I just need to paint the rim of the base black. That's pretty much finished as well, I might do a tutorial on how to do those bases actually as well but I've got Ulrich the Slayer for my primary Space Marines, or my 10th edition Space Marines I should say. Um, he just needed a bit of extra height because next to the primary guys he's very very short. So yeah, there'll be more wolves coming up on the channel as well. Um, and as I said, if there's more hobby you want to see on the channel, then please let me know in the comments. Something different from um, unboxing and news and stuff like that. So should be fun to do. Um, I'll put this on the turntable so you can have a 360 look and uh, have a look at it. Now it's finished. And all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching as always. If you've made it this far, then thanks a lot. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're going to Warhammer Fest, then uh, hopefully I might see some of you there. I'll be posting pictures on Instagram and Twitter as well, so uh, you'll probably see what I look like on those pictures if you've not done already. Um, and if you do see me, please come and say hello. I know I'm only a small channel, but uh, it's great meeting people all the time in the hobby. So if you do see me at Warhammer Fest, please say hello. And until then, all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.